Alright. Oh my god. Who organized all this? This one, no. Hmm. Let's figure out my top five clippers. Alright, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today is gonna be a little bit different instead of doing a haircut tutorial for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, what's on my top five clippers and to remind you guys this is my personal opinion a lot of people may disagree may agree but I mean if you guys don't agree with this or agree with it leave a comment down below I also do want to know what your guys uh, top five clippers are so once again this is my personal opinion so yeah stay tuned for the video give it to the Andis Masters. Now, out of all the clippers, I can really say this clipper is really good for beginner barbers, student barbers. Yeah, it's a it's a real great clipper to go ahead and start off with, just because uh, this clipper has uh, these notches right here on the side, and it also opens up to a number one. And what I mean by that is, like, closed all the way, starts off in a, I believe, a triple zero, and then when you go ahead and open the lever all the way, it opens up to a number one. So uh, by getting that big of a distance, it, I mean, I personally think it's really good just because like you could, you're able to pretty much step, uh, skip steps. But uh, getting back to these notches right here, um, it's really gonna help out students just because it'll really allow you to see exactly what uh, step you're on. Because like if you guys watch my tutorials, uh, I, I use the term uh, close a lot, lever halfway a lot, and lever all, all the way open. So by having these uh, notches right here will allow you to know exactly where you're at in the haircut. Now this is also a really strong clipper. It got that magnetic motor so uh, the blade actually moves really fast. I, I find like whenever I'm using this I could really cut through any type of hair whether it's wet or dry. Any type of hair texture as well it's really great to go ahead and cut all that. This this hair, this hair clipper I, I feel like it's the most famous one in the barbershop community just because like if you go to a barbershop every barber is gonna at least have a pair of this so I de definitely recommend this and now the only only thing I do not like about this clipper, why it's at number five, is because it's weight sucks. By looking at freaking how heavy this is. If you've held one of these before, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. And after a couple of haircuts, it makes me want to go home. I don't even want to cut hair no more. I bet you I'm going to get carpal tunnel just by using this every single day. So yeah, the weight sucks. It's one of the heaviest clippers you guys could get. Really, it's only... It's only about the weight that really makes this at the number five, except that it does get hot. And this thing really does get hot. The whole metal housing and the uh, freaking fast motor, come on, this, this has to get hot. So, I mean, if they change a couple things about it and even make it cordless, it will definitely go up in the list. Other than that, just make it lighter. So at number four, we do have the corded senior. And this clipper, not this exact model, but this clipper was one of the first ones that I actually started, or not really started, but one of the first uh, professional clippers that I ever started with. So this does have history with me. It will always be 
in my arsenal just because it is one of the first clippers I started with. But other than that, I mean, this clipper is a great clipper. It's pretty much like the Andes Master. It's super strong. It cuts through any hair texture and the blend is nice. I mean, I learned off of a wall system, so I'm pretty much gonna be using wall for the rest of my career because I'm so used to their guard system, the way their machines work. And I find wall, uh, the company makes really, really great high quality clippers. Now the reason why I like this clipper so much is because it's super easy to zero gap. Uh, what I mean by that is getting that part of the blade actually so close to where you're able to get out the ball guideline. So I really like that because it's really easy to zero gap. It doesn't open as much as the Andes Master, but I mean, by having that extra guard from the wall guard system, that doesn't really bother me that much. And plus this one is not that heavy. So, I mean, that's why it's at number four. Now this clipper, it does get hot, kind of like the Andes Master, just not as hot if you know what I mean. One of these clippers could last you a really long time, which is why I also do like this clipper a lot. And I find whenever I use in this clipper, my haircuts just come out like super fire, like fresh. Now, another good reason why this is still at number four and not further up on the list is because yes, we still do have a cord. I personally like cordless clippers just because you could take them anywhere. If I'm doing a house call, I don't have to worry about an extension cord. I mean, Going cordless, I mean, it's 2019, we're going up in technology. The, the cordless clippers have great uh, batteries in them nowadays. So, I mean, I personally prefer cordless clippers. That's really the reason why this is at number four. If not, it would be higher up. All right, so now moving on to number three, we do have the cordless babyless pro fx these are the rose gold version they do have i believe two colorways which is the rose gold and the gold version i uh went to the barbercon convention out there in new york and they had this one in stock so i thought it was pretty cool i wanted to try them out i tried the corded uh, version of these before and i personally didn't like them but once i got these and was able to use them, I actually really did like them. All right, so like I said, this does have uh, the notches on the side, so uh, you will be able to see exactly where you're at in the haircut. Also really like this clipper just because, I don't know about you guys, but by using a clipper for so long, I tend to get kind of bored of using the same thing every single day. This, I find, is a great alternative to any other clipper. Uh, if you ever get bored and plus the design is it's nice i mean just look at that everyone's gonna uh, look at it and wonder exactly what it is i know i've had a couple clients that are always like dang you rich you rich i mean it's not real gold but i mean it just looks it, it just looks dope now i'm checking online and at the, on the babyless pro website it says the lithium ion battery that this has is supposed to run for two hours long and that's longer than the cordless senior but really it does not run for that long this clipper i feel like i can use it for two haircuts and then it's dead like i don't take no two hours on two people like and then plus i'm always constantly turning them off turning them back on so with that two hour run time it should cancel out like when I turn it off. Like if I only use it for 30 seconds and then turn it off, it should only count as 30 seconds, right? But I mean, when I'm using this, I could really only use it for two hours. I don't know if it's just my pair, but um, that's really why it's at number three. I mean, if it would really run for two hours while it's running, it will definitely be uh, higher up on the list because this is a great clipper, but other than it not lasting that long, it stays at number three. Now we're getting closer to the number one spot, but we still have number two. And my number two is the Oster Fast Feed. Now I know a lot of you guys are probably saying like, what's so good about this? It still has the cord, but really this is a great, great clipper especially for fading i find like this i get like the most detailed fades that i pretty much get um this clipper is so easy to use i mean like you you're never leaving such hard guidelines with these uh i know it's called fast speed but i really think that this motor is really slow 
Um, I wouldn't really use this to cut down bulk or anything like that just because the motor is slow. But for fading and everything else, this clipper is magic. For this clipper, I did also do a little bit of modification to it. I did add the ceramic blade to it. I, of course, it's to go ahead and zero gap it. But that that's all I really had to do to this clipper. I mean, if they would make this clipper cordless, it would definitely be at my number one because I like it that much. Uh, this clipper, I mean, it's so great. It uses that uh, the magnetic guards, which I prefer them over the wall uh, guard system. So unlike the wall corded seniors and the Andis masters, this clipper does not get hot. So you could run this thing all day and it just would not get hot. Um, this clipper is great on little kids. I find that uh, it's so soft. It doesn't really hurt them when you're going around the ear or anything. Uh, to baby so really you can use this on everybody old young it doesn't matter the age this is a great clipper for anybody so if you guys are new to the barbering industry i definitely recommend you guys picking one of these up i can't really think of anything negative to say about this clipper other than i just wouldn't use them to take down bulk because it does snag a little bit not pulling the hair but it ends up not wanting to go through, especially when you're working on really thick hair. But other than that, this is my number two. Now, for those of you guys that are still with us, we are moving on to our number one spot. And that number one spot, I mean, most people probably already guessed it, but I had to go with the Wall Five Star Cordless Senior. So this clipper, if you guys do watch my tutorials, it's probably in about 90% of my videos. It's really that great. I mean, I never really get tired of this clipper, but if I do, once again, I do go to either these or the fast feeds. Uh, this clipper is everything that I like in this one, just cordless. And like I said, it is 2019. We are moving on to better technology. So with these lithium ion batteries, uh, making the clippers cordless it does make the clipper a lot better so i really really do like this clipper i'm and i know if you guys aren't able to get a pair of these a good alternative to this clipper would be the five star magic clips the cordless one uh they work pretty much the same i personally just prefer this one a lot better just because it's slimmer and it fits perfect on your hand it has these little indents right here it's perfect for your fingers to go on so with that being said this is just a great clipper once again i started using a wall uh and i grew up using them so this clipper is just perfect and the runtime for this clipper it says 70 minutes and this actually feels like it does last a lot longer i mean i usually start cutting hair around like nine o'clock in the morning and this clipper usually dies on me once I go to lunch, which is around like one o'clock. So I I do cut every 30 minutes. So just imagine how many haircuts I do in that time. This, this clipper really lasts a lot longer than these FX's, which are supposed to run a lot longer, but they don't. I don't know if they just use a better battery in this or I don't know what they do, but this clipper does its job. It's a great clipper. I do recommend it for anybody. So what I usually do with this with this clipper is I usually keep two clippers at all times. I usually have one charging while I'm using one and once this one starts to die on me right around lunch, what I do is just plug this one in and then this one should be fully charged so then I'm, I'm good for the rest of the day. And then I just switch on and off uh, with them uh, just to have these running all day so like i mentioned a good alternative if you guys were not able to pick one of these up it is the cordless magic clips this these are pretty much the same these do feel just a little bit cheaper but it gets the job done and again using a cordless uh any cordless senior it's gonna be a great clipper so i definitely do recommend these hi right, youtube so that pretty much sums up my top five clippers once again i want to thank you guys so much for watching hi right, you guys so that pretty much wraps up my top five clippers uh leave a comment down below uh what you guys think your guys's top five clippers are and uh i would love to know your guys' recommendations and also let me know if you guys like these type of videos that way i would make more in the future all right guys but if you guys did like this video please hit that thumbs up also if you guys are not subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button it definitely helps out the channel and uh also don't forget to hit that bell button right there right underneath that subscribe button 
just so you guys are notified when I post the video and you guys will be the first to know. Uh, but other than that, once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.